how do you think we get out of this mess? Are you happy to head towards a no-deal Brexit? I think that is the only choice that's left. If, if politicians such as yourself, David, have done your job and not frustrated the entire process, we won't be in the mess that we're in sir, now. Sir, it's the mess sir, that we're in now that is the catastrophic right, right. situation that we're in, right. not the no-deal Brexit. Well, well, hang on a minute. No, no, no. Let's break this down. What do you mean if I had done my job? I have been doing my did you, did job. Did you vote for Article 50? No, I David. did not vote for Article 50. Absolutely well, the majority not. of the House of Commons did. Well, good luck to them. But I didn't. Yes, but they and did. And the reason I didn't... So, uh, hang on a minute. This is my show. Let's just be clear. You've made an accusation right. against me. You've said to me <laughs> that I wasn't doing my job. I was representing the people of Tottenham, the, who f overwhelmingly voted against... Um, uh, leaving the European Union and gave me an 82% share of the vote on the basis that I was absolutely clear about Article 50. So I, I'm, I'm in line with my constituents. We're elected not to be delegates um, or, or to follow a party line. It's to use our judgment and our conscience. And it's always been my belief that both leaving the European Union uh, and certainly a no-deal Brexit would be catastrophic for the people of Tottenham. And I've always been clear on that, representing their views. That's so, what that's our so job. Where is the line, where is the line um, in the sun drawn then, uh, David? Because if, if you're representing your constituency, that's fine and kudos to you. But there's a majority then in the House that aren't representing their constituencies because we've had a referendum of which leave won. Hang so, on a minute. Hang on a minute. I think we've had... You're right. There have been a few spineless toads in the House. That's true. But let's be clear on what happened. We had a referendum. 17.4 um, million voted to leave um, and remain lost. It was a lot closer than some people give the impression. It's not been clear the basis on which we can leave. And the last... Um, three and a half years of rows have been the basis on which we leave. And to be honest, there are 10, 15 versions of leaving and rising. Now, it looks like uh, uh, some of the country, and certainly the Brexit Party and parts of the Conservative Party, are crystallising around a no-deal Brexit. That's one version of leave. That wasn't what was put to the British people. It was never put to the British people. And in fact, the last occasion on which these issues was put to a British people, the general election that was had two years ago, Theresa May went in saying, give me a mandate to negotiate. And the country did not give her that mandate. Clearly, yeah, the mood has changed. I'm reflecting that mood. I'm reflecting well, that mood. Not, because we've had a majority in your house, in your office, that has given... Um, a majority to Article 50 being invoked, which happened, and now we're at a stage where we've had to have um, two um, extensions to that Article 50, when the majority of the House of Commons voted for that um, article to take place, which meant that we would leave after two years with or without a deal. The majority voted knowing that. Yeah, it's been frustrated time and time again, and I honestly believe that that is the, the catastrophic situation but, but Ryan, that we're left in, it's which is the uncertainty. It's, it's totally not, it's not the understandable. No deal Brexit. It's, it's the uncertainty for everybody. Ryan, it's totally understandable that members of Parliament are not keen to go into the lobbies and vote for the poverty and the economic hardship for their constituents. They don't want the loss of jobs. They're worried about the falling pound. They're worried about us slipping into recession. By the way, this morning, we've seen that America is heading towards a recession as well. Very, very concerned on all of that basis. Of course, there are members of parliament who want to resist a no deal Brexit. I don't know, Ryan, what you do in life, but I'm surprised if you've got a mortgage uh, and if you've got a job, you're not worried too. No, definitely not. Why not? I'll, I work for a European company, and there is nothing... Oh, so you'll be all right. Uh, where's the Why? company based? In Germany. Oh, right, I see. Well, Ryan, it's becoming clear why you might have a different view, because you'll be comfy.